Today, we're heading out to a place that we haven't been in a good while. I'm talking about Africa. Holy, take a look at what we have over here. I've never seen this before, guys. We're over here by the Cape Buffalo spot where you kind of start off on this map. And honestly, pff, this is quite the sight to see. I looked and I was like, that's a lion. And it was walking over there. And next thing you know, it stopped. And there it is, stopped right there at 400 yards. We are gonna be taking a 400 yard shot at this lion from the top of this roof. Check this out. And we have the 300 Magnum. But because we're so high up, we're not gonna have any drop. So we can pretty much just hold right for the heart for 300. Now let's grab the 300. Whoa, 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 where's it going? Where's it going? Oh, it's gonna lay down. Well, we could still take that shot. It's going to make for a bit more of a difficult shot, but we could still take that shot. We got to time it just right. You see, he stands up for about three or four seconds. And we'll have to be ready for that moment. Shot looked perfect to me. It was, he's going down. Oh, okay. I guess he's not even gonna run. He's just gonna stand there and fall over. All right. Well, that just happened. And yeah, if you look at the map, we're over here at the Zemwabu Yemalo outpost here on the very north end of the map. And our first lion was right here. I've never seen a lion there before. So it was quite the experience to spot one walking, I'll tell you that. Oh, something tells me we got more, guys. Because I hear another one. Where is it? There it is. Oh, two of them. It's a nice seven. A real nice seven. And we got a wide open spot up here, so we should definitely be able to get a nice shot on that line there's a four right there i don't really feel like taking a shot on him but i definitely want that seven so he's probably going to run down to that point and right there is going to be our opportunity for a shot once he turns broadside at about 250 and right now he's about 280 out there but that's a shot if he turns broadside Ooh, that's a shot was behind that brush i would have taken that oh i'm taking that taking that all day long smoked him Woo! we got him now i'll take down that other four if he decides to present us with a shot and imagine if this lion was just about two steps more into the water he probably would have floated right back over to us but here he is our first lion down in this location it's a light brown 403 yard perfect perfect shot going right for the heart but it just couldn't quite make it there absolutely money but sweet looking lion and this is our first look at the 3d model of the new lion well not the new lion but you know what i mean so there's really no point in tracking him down because he's literally laying right here we're gonna run right to him like, I couldn't have tried any more perfectly to end up right on top of this lion. But here he is, our second male lion, and this is a goal potential. See, look what I'm talking about as far as the mane and kind of the blurriness of it. Do you guys see that? I don't know if it's if it's just me or what, but let's pick him up. It's going to be a gold, 45.95 gold, and we pulled off a beautiful double lung shot at 297 yards. 513 pound lion. But a lot of cash, 1,600 cash for that one line. Almost 17. Oh, we're getting a call from a warthog behind us over here, right behind that ridge. Now, we got a pretty sweet vantage point here, so this is going to be awesome. But the wind is blowing right directly towards him, so that's not exactly so awesome. Oh, there we go. We got eyes on a nice bull kudu out there at about 287 yards. Can't even see him. Didn't he go down like right there? Yeah, I see him. <sighs> Holy, that is going to be a tough shot. Is 
Shot fire. Don't really know what happened, but shot fired. No, come on. Unbelievable. What in the heck did we hit on that kudu? Whatever it was, it was good because he did not even move. What a shot. Bit of a risky shot nonetheless, but it was still a heck of a shot. All right, so this Warthog called behind us here. I want to go over there and check that out, see if we can, in fact, jump him up real quick. Yeah, I actually just took down a huge Warthog, and I'll show you. Well, I can't really show you the screenshot, but I can show you. But what I was trying to say is, I don't even know if I took a screenshot of that Warthog to be able to show you guys. But I was kind of sick to my stomach. I spent a good 40 minutes trying to sneak up on him. And he kept sensing us. Finally, we figured out where he was at and took him at 30 yards, made a perfect double lung heart shot. But then I found out I wasn't recording. So since I can't see this Warthog, he's calling from down over there. Do we go try and flush him up or what should we do? Yeah, let's go flush him up. We got the AR-308. Let's go flush him up. Oh, what do we jump up now? Oh my god, huge kudu! Huge bull kudu! Oh, I lost sight of him. But he should come out somewhere over there. Which way did he go? Right there, he was running like this. Which should have put him somewhere around here. Oh my god, you guys, I bet that's where he was bedded. There's a female kudu right there, 300 yards out from us. And I'm pretty sure that's where he came from. So you would think he'd want to get back there. But for some reason, he's not showing himself. No wonder why we couldn't see him. He ran right through this brush here. We were looking this way too, but we just couldn't quite see that far. Well, we got fresh tracks here. As long as we stick on him, we should be good. All right, so we got fresh tracks here. He's been running for a good 15 or 20 minutes now. And we're trying to catch up to figure out where he's going to head to next. Got a nice little spot down there for Wildebeest and Cape Buffalo, that's for sure. Probably even Warthog, but unfortunately our Kudu is not down there. We're going to slow down a little bit here because I honestly think that he should be right around this next point. Oh my god, there he goes. I got eyes on him, guys. Just got eyes on him right there. He's cutting through. Holy, look at that bull. Oh, he's out there at about 250. Right there. Tell you what, I'm going to mark that location. And we're going to try and work our way to the top of this mountain here. So we can get a better view of that bottom. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We got Cape Buffalo right here. Holy. Looks to be a huge mythical or a seven there. But, let's watch for our huge kudu. Oh my god, here he comes, guys. Finally. He is finally coming back in. Holy. I don't know where he's going to go, but if he comes close enough, I'm definitely taking him with the bow. As in, like, within 60? Yeah, we're taking him with the bow. Let's see where he's going to decide to go. All right, so I just saw him right there. Oh! He's going wide right. Oh, he's going behind the hill on us. Well, let's try and cut around, guys. We might be able to cut around him. We have a perfect wind. That's for sure. All right, we got to try and pick up the pace a little bit here. Might make a bit of noise, but it's worth it because we got to get in position. He's coming this direction. He's got to go this way. All right. Watch down here. There he is, there he is, there he is, there he is. He's 70 yards out. Yeah, he busted us. We cannot move. We absolutely cannot move. We'll let him calm down. And he should keep on coming this direction. There he is, right there. A beautiful bull. All right, 
Let's try and slide over just a little bit here. Oh, a nice ridge top there. Perfect little pocket. He's 60 yards out. He's in range. He's in range for a shot. Oh my god. Smoked! <laughs> oh! Wow. That was so perfect. That was so so perfect we had him at about 60 yards on the walk we ended up crouching up which actually gave him a chance to slow down and that is when we came to full draw he stopped for half a second we were zeroed in for 60 because we already had the pin on him so at that point we just held right for the heart and let one fly and we smoked him we literally put it right on the heart and let one fly instantly before he even had a chance to know it was coming but here's our huge bull right here let's take a look at the size of this bull oh wow that is a sweet bull kudu what a shot what a bull what a hunt look at that you can see the arrow is right in the armpit there so it should be a heart shot all right guys let's actually let's take a better picture because the sun is out now much better all right let's pick him up it's gonna be a double long hard shot at 61 yards. 142.48 gold. Gray Kudu down. And our first bull of 2023. This bull was so smart. We tracked him for 1.6 miles. But I'll tell you what, when we came to full draw, we definitely made it happen. Let one fly right on the money. Woo! Double long hard shot, baby. 61 yards. Wow. That was a rush. That was quite the rush. I mean, he's a pretty good size one, too. He's up there. 140. Gold is 130. Well, 132. So he's definitely a big old bull. And to be able to take him down with the bow, such a special moment for us right there. Look at how cool this bull looks. Man. Wow. I mean, you guys only saw like part of the hunt. Honestly, we literally kicked up that kudu way back here. Ran all the way over here. Couldn't find his track anywhere. Finally found his track and tracked him all the way down, all the way down to here. Spotted him. Luckily, going down that mountain, he was about 350 yards out. I showed you guys. And that's when we knew he was in this area. He was actually slowing down, so we started crouching. Keep all four right here as well. And we worked our way around this mountain here and cut him off, and it just worked perfectly. So yeah, that was awesome. Oh, there's the Cape Buffalo that called from before. There's a nice seven down there. I forgot which one it is. Oh, there's two sevens. There's a big brown one. I thought it was a mythical, but it's a big seven. He's 150 yards out from us right there. So he is in range, and I'd love to take him down with a new camo 300 wind mag. Oh, he's turned broadside. There he is. Well, he was turned broadside. That is definitely not good enough for a shot now. And now he's going to turn broadside for a shot. Quartering a little too much. But he should spin back. And we're going for the heart. What was that, guys? What in the heck was that? Did I shoot too low? You know what, guys? That's all right. We messed up the shot. I don't know where he went. And I don't feel like going after him right now because it's going to take too long. Well, we may have messed up on that big level 7 Cape Buffalo, but we got a bunch of Cape Buffalo out here, and I think one of these are going to make up for it. Holy, that one right there is definitely going to make up for it. A big old level 8, and I'm going to bust out the 300 Magnum at about 350 here. I think last time we held a little bit too low, and that's kind of what happened. Why our shot didn't connect. But I need a better angle for a shot. He's quartering too much. Way too much. 
That was a shot for a second, but then he turned back. Come on, big mythical. Turn broadside on me. Come on. I held high. I should have got lung. I don't know what else we would have hit unless we hit vertebrae. Dang, I gotta stop messing up these shots. I cannot believe how difficult it is to get a Cape Buffalo down at this point. Like, we have the 300 Magnum. If I could just see the mythical, we could go for the shot. There they go, right down there. All right, which one's the mythical now? Finally, we have some cover. Which one? Big seven. Is our mythical not in here? Big seven there. That might be the buffalo that we're going after. Yeah, that's the biggest one. That is definitely the biggest one right there. It's not the mythical, but it's a huge seven and he's almost as big as a mythical. About 110 yards out and we're going to be taking him down with the red dot. I'm sure our mythical is out here somewhere. But like I said, it doesn't really matter much. This thing is 60 yards out from us. So once she turns broadside, we'll go for our shot. Or I should say he turns broadside. There he is right there. Oh my God. This is not a good situation. And that is even worse. I think we got him though, guys. We got him. He rolled over right there, baby. Let's go get him. Woo. He tried to outsmart us and he almost did. But that's why we kept the red dot on, you see? That is a vital hit, baby. All right. We got him. Might have messed up two big mythicals or a big seven and a mythical. But in the end, we got a big seven down. Well, we definitely got a brown one down. <laughs> but that's a female. You gotta be kidding me. Oh my god, look at all the Cape Buffalo here. Holy. Unfortunately, we messed up the shot on that level 7, so I thought we'd come back and try and find some more Cape Buffalo. And is there 30 Cape Buffalo here, or am I crazy? Because there's tons, tons of Cape Buffalo here. I mean, they're absolutely everywhere. In fact, we got a beautiful mythical out there at about 290. Perfectly broadside. There's a red one there in the back. I can't tell if it's a male or a female. That's a female there as well. I do believe there should be a decent level 7 red male out here too. But we are in fact going to take down a shot on this mythical right here. 300 yards. Let's throw on the Argus scope. There we go. Alright, 300 yards. I'm going to zero for 320 and hold it right on his heart. Woo! There. That is what's supposed to happen. Wow. I thought we'd hold on the heart and maybe have a little bit of raise because it was not quite 320 yards, but it literally hit the heart at 315 yards. <laughs> so yeah, that's definitely going to make up for messing up our shot at 160. Although I still don't know where the heck I hit, to be quite honest. I'm going to look at this Cape Buffalo here and we'll try and figure out where we might have hit on that last one. Because I'm pretty curious. And after that, we're going to go over and pick up our Kudu, which we took a shot at in the very beginning and we couldn't even see. Well, I could see its horns, but that's about it. All right, here he is down right over here, our big mythical Cape Buffalo. 
and our biggest buffalo of 2023 so far. I still want to take a picture. So we'll go with that and let's pick it up. Wow. Holy, that's going to be a 139 gold mythical. But we pulled off a 283 yard left lung heart shot. I'm talking right on the money. Wow. So we actually did get some rays. We got quite a bit of rays because I was holding for right here. And we did in fact get about six inches of rays, which was pretty much perfect. Ended up getting lung and split the heart as well. Uh oh, we got company. But I don't want to take anything else down here because we would lose this zone and I can't risk that happening. What we can do though is... Ah! And hope that we didn't hit anything. Even if we did hit something, there's no way it's going to take it down. So let's pick it back up and take a good look at it. Huge mythical Cape Buffalo. And there is our first 3D look at it. So giant Buffalo and a pretty awesome shot at that. All right, now we're going to head back over and take a look at that Kudu that we took at about 300 yards and we couldn't hardly even see the thing. All right, so we took the shot down over here and it was about a 250 yard shot. All right, so according to the map, he should have been right around here. Maybe a little bit more forward. But not a Oh, he's literally laying right here. All right, guys, let's see where we hit him. I don't see any blood. I wonder if we hit him like in the brain. But then again, there'd be some blood there, wouldn't there? Wow. Wow. Got a neck shot at 290 yards on this bull kudu. Everything was perfect. <laughs> Couldn't even see that kudu. All I could see was his horns. That's honestly all I could see. <laughs> we got him right in the neck. I will take that. I will take that all day long. But anyways, on that note, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Man, what a heck of an awesome turnout here out on Africa. I really wish you guys could have seen that huge um, warthog that I got in the very beginning, but I wasn't recording, so pff, sometimes that happens. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.